Uh, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in this session, we're going to look at getting started. Um, so first of all, I'm going to, uh, I had it powered off from the install. Okay, so this is the first use after the install. And I'm going to click start to start up the actual emulator. Um, okay, I'll just, uh, uh, I won't drag this out too much. Okay, so once I have Ubuntu uh, started up, I'll right click and open the terminal window. Uh, because what I need to do is uh, uh, issue the last two commands, which were first of all to start the daemon working. Okay, I'll put in my password. And uh, once the daemon starts, I then need to start the GUI, which is core hyphen GUI. So I can just use the up arrows on my keyboard there uh, to get that rolling. Okay, I'll just. Uh, Size this a little bit. Okay, so use up a bit of the screen. Okay, so uh, uh, I you should have this uh, uh, look and feel now at the moment. Okay, um, uh, which is great. Uh, now what I'm going to do here, uh, down along the left here, you can see I have a few controls here in this toolbox, and I have my file edit uh, 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 tools across the top. Uh, I've got to come down here to uh, the network layer, okay, uh, and you can see here I can install a, a hub or a switch, uh, wireless LAN, okay, and so I'm going to start off with a switch, okay, uh, click the switch, and you can see there it's uh, no uh, N1 for node 1, okay, uh, I'm going to call it S1 for switch 1, okay, and click apply. Uh, up here above that, okay, in the network layer, I can click on a PC, okay, and I'll put three of them in here, three PCs, okay, on that, okay, I'll just leave them there as node one, two, and three, and then I'll click back on my pointer tool, I just want to make sure everything's working first. Uh, I'm going to go to tools here, okay, and IP addresses, okay, and you can see here that it's giving me the three, uh, uh, the private networks here, the 10, the 192, and the 172. I'm going to select the 192.168.0.0, and it's corresponding. I'll leave the uh, IPv6 as it is, and click OK. So when it actually assigns IP addresses to uh, anything here, it's uh, uh, it's going to uh, use the 192.168 net, uh, net there. Okay, I'm going to use this tool here. It's called a link tool. And I'm just going to make a link from the switch to each one of the nodes. Okay, and you can see here, I click back on my pointer tool. Uh, you can see there that it's adding the IP address. Okay, uh, and it's starting at 20, so 192.168.0.20, 21, and I'm sorry, 21 and 22. There are slash 24. Uh, so giving me uh, 256 uh, addresses, uh, again, leave out the first one for the uh, network and the last one for the uh, broadcast, which will give me 254 usable IPs. Okay, uh, so let's check to see if, uh, if in this particular network can, uh, can things see each other. Uh, so I'm going to start a session. So I'll click this icon up here, start a session. Okay, and you can see everything went red, and now they've gone green, and now it's disappeared. So the network has, has uh, set up. Can you look over here and see this one, one to two? If I click that icon there, you can see the uh, two node tool. So I've got a source node, none selected, and a destination node, none selected. So I'm going to first of all click here to select my source node. I'll click on this one. Okay, and now I'm going to click on this, the destination node, and I'll click on that. So you can see the source node is N2 and the destination node is N4. I can uh, now run a trace route. Okay, I can see it's done. Okay, or I can run a ping. Okay, so if I ping there, you can see there it's happily pinging away. Okay, so I can close that. Okay, uh, let me just uh, do that. Again, if I, if I stop the session, okay. 
And I'm going to set up another network over here. Uh, there's my uh, Ethernet switch. Uh, there. Uh, so, again, I'll double click on that. And I'll say S2 for the switch. Switch 2, apply there. Um, and I'll put in a couple of PCs. Uh, one here and one here. Again, I'll use my link tool to connect them. Okay, now you can see here, because I've used a different switch, it's used a separate network. I've got 192.168.1.20, and this is 21. So I have two networks uh, here. Uh, so let me just start the session place. Let me do my one to two and let's try uh, have my source node uh, in this network as this one and my destination node as this PC over here. Okay, uh, now what I should see Okay, so if I try a ping, now what I should see is it not working. Again, I can't ping. If I run the ping here Again, uh, I have two separate networks, so therefore you can see there it's trying to ping uh, 198.168.1.20 okay, uh, from 0 0.20, so two separate networks, so destination host doesn't reach me. Okay, close that. So how do we sort this out? Simple enough. We'll just install a router. Okay, so a router, again, here can connect two networks. Okay, so again, there's my Router. I'm going to double click on things like that. There. You should click on my pointer tool whenever you're going to do something like that. So, again, I'll call this R1, so router 1. Uh, click apply. And now I'm going to use my link tool to uh, link it to this Ethernet switch and to this. There. And to this Ethernet so you can see there, it's put 192.168.0.1. Okay, so it's using this now as the gateway address. Okay, and 192.168.1.1, the gateway here. So now the gateway, um, uh, a gateway address. Sorry, I got that wrong. A gateway address. Okay, uh, uh, for each. So now I've connected the two networks. How do I know if if they're connected? That's just I uh, use my start the session tool. Okay, everything has gone green. That's great. Okay, I'll use my one to two. See if I can get the, this working. So my source node here, again, N2 from this network. And the destination node is, say, N7 from this one. Okay, so let's uh, now run a ping. Okay, and you can see there it's happening. Let's try trace route, and you can see there it's uh, it ran through. Okay, so let's um, uh, uh, close that. Okay, uh, and I'll stop this session. Okay, so uh, step one is make sure uh, when using the network emulator uh, that you have everything working. Okay, uh, here. And once you have everything working, give it a test by running and try pinging across the network. Okay, thank you very much.